It's our last night in the caravan at Overson, and we thought it'd be fun to do a little trivia challenge. Harry and I will be answering questions about Star Trek, and Linda and Chloe will be answering questions about Friends. Welcome to the Fandom Trivia Challenge, and here are your contestants. playing teams and it'll be the first team to 10 correct answers. Harry's the youngest so we'll let him have the first question. Which undercover Deep Space Nine crew member was inducted into the Order of the Bartleth in Apocalypse Rising? Worf? Odo A, O'Brien B, C Worf, D Cisco. What's the answer? Well, you have to. So you you still want to answer Wolf? Yes. Right. And the correct answer is D Cisco. Wait, what? We'll go around the circle then. So a question for Linda. Oh, these are instructions. Oh. All right. You want a fan or a super fan? How? Ah, oh, fan is one point. Super fan is two points. Just a fan. Okay. What did Monica make to get over her breakup with Richard? Ooh. Cookies? Jam. Oh, that's oh. right! And then Joey ended up with one of his own because he spat in it. And so the whole episode, <laughs> he's walking around just eating jam. <laughs> so I didn't get it right, but I know, I know the yes. Um, episode. Yes. One for Chloe. What instrument did Ross originally want to play at Chandler and Monica's wedding? Was it the keyboard? Bagpipes. <laughs> Someone can ask me a Star Trek question. What Star Trek alien showed up as an action figure on Rain Robinson's desk in the Voyager episode, Future's End? Right, so, so A was Telosian. Talosian. Mm. Yeah, and what was B? Gorn. Gorn. C? Margato. Mm. Whatever that D is. C-H-E-R-O-N. From memory, on her desk, there was some kind of a reptilian action figure. So I'm going to say Gorn. It's a Talosian. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean Talosian? Talosian, from the cage. Mm -hmm. Okay. No one's got a question right yet. You found one, mate? Just picking one that I can pronounce. <laughs> Which famous 1960s science fiction author wrote the episode on... How do you say that? Amok Time. Theodore Sturg Sturgeon. H.G. Wells. Listen. Kurt Vonnegut Jr. Harlan Ellison. Or Ray Bar Bradbury. Never heard of any of them. You need an education then. <laughs> well, I don't know. You're going to have to guess one then, mate. B, because I just feel like it. Because bees an animal and bees make honey, so I'm going <laughs> B. Okay. Because the bee movie's a thing and it's weird. It's A, Theodore Sturgeon. Aww. What was Monica's partner Richard's profession? Ophthalmologist. Correct. First point to the friends team. Yay. All right, one for Chloe. Who was the only one of the main gang not to make it to Ross and Emily's wedding in London? Phoebe. Correct. Because she was pregnant with her half-brother's triplets. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't as bad as it sounds. Surrogacy. <laughs> <laughs> Where was 10 Ford located on Enterprise D? A, Deck 1, Section 10. B, Deck 10, Section 1. C, Deck 10, Section 10. D, Deep Space 10. Right. Uh, so what was A? Deck 1, Section 10. Not that. What's B? Deck 10, Section 1. And what's C? Oh, deck 10, Section 10. Okay. So it's definitely either B or C. So it was on deck 10 and it was called 10 forward because it was at the very front of the source section. And what is it? Now, section. 
Um, so I'm going to say deck 10, section 1, which I think was B. You actually got that right. Woohoo! Hey. First points to the Star Trek team! <laughs> okay, now a question for Harry. There's more questions in this book than there mm -hmm. are here. That's fine. As if we're going to answer, ask you all those tonight. <laughs> there's 2,700 oh, there's questions. There's different topics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are. What role did Harry Kim usually play in the adventures of Captain Proton? A. Satan's Robot. B. Lonzak. C. President of Earth. Or D. Buster Kincaid. I'm guessing the president, maybe? D. Buster Kincaid. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't remember that small <laughs> detail of the show. That's one where I wish I could have just told him. <laughs> Here's one for Mum. Which of Richard's colleagues at Bloomingdale's does Ross become jealous of? Rachel. Which... Mark. Correct. It's not Richard, it's Rachel, Daddy. Well, Mum got it right anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, for Chloe. Which animal causes Phoebe to drop the bowl full of lottery tickets? It was a bird. What kind of bird? A pigeon? Correct. I don't know how I got that. <laughs> Why would you be scared by a pigeon? Four points to the fence team. How did Spock's body come back to life? Vulcan... Oh, A. Vulcan Cars 1. B. The still active Genesis radiation. C. Antimatter radiation. D. He was not really dead. Oh, I think it's... Oh, I've seen this movie. I've seen this movie. And the answer to that one is B. It was the still active Genesis radiation yep. on the Genesis planet. That's right. What? But I thought it was D. Because I wasn't here. You know, like... it's his body. His, his, his soul, or his cutra, was in McCoy, but his body was brought back to life by the Genesis planet. In the beginning of Pathfinder, how long had Barclay lived in his apartment without unpacking? Two months, A. B, six months. C, eight months. D, two years. And what Star Trek show is this? This is Voyager. This is Lieutenant Barclay, who served on the Enterprise, but it's a Voyager episode. He, he was living in an apartment trying to find Voyager. I... And how long did he not unpack for when he moved into his new apartment? I think I've seen this episode. I just A two months, B six months, C eight months, D two years. The most likely scenario is probably the last one, two years, because knowing that show. Yep, true. That's Barkley for you. Mm. But just knowing that show. Good job, Harry. Well done. The only reason right, I was. Point. For Mum, which character gets a temp job selling Christmas trees? Joey. Correct. Joey who? I don't Five. remember that. I do. Because Phoebe gets upset because he doesn't sell all the scraggly ones. That's right. <laughs> One for Chloe. What does Rachel do to her potential boss during her job interview at Ralph Lauren? Eat him. I can't remember. I don't know. Kisses him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? None for me. What was the admission fee to enter another Ferengi's home? A. A half slip of latinum. B. One third slip of latinum. C. One slip of latinum. D. One strip of latinum. What is latinum? Gold press latinum is the currency that you, the Ferengi use. I'm going to guess that it's measured in the slips, not the strips. Now, is it one slip or is it a part of a slip? Mm. I'm going to go for half a slip. And the answer is... C, one slip. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what race is Balana Taurus's mother? A, Klingon. B, Kataran. C, Bolian. D, Bajoran. Bajoran? <laughs> Balana Taurus. What species is her mother? Ah... Uh, so half. Oh, well, I was is, thinking is, of another character from a okay. different show. Balana Taurus on Voyager. The half human, half Vulcan character. Uh, one of her parents was a human. One of them was a Vulcan. Which one? Uh which one was her mother? 
Well, neither of, race, neither of those races were in the answers. What race was Bellana Taurus's mother? A. Klingon, B. Kataran, C. Bolian, D. Bajoran. What does Bellana Taurus look like? A human. Crossed with a Klingon. Well, what does that tell you then? What race do you think her mother is? Klingon? Yes. Even I knew Correct. that. Correct. <laughs> yeah, Chloe knew that one. <laughs> All right, here's one for Mum. In which item of clothing does Ross get stuck whilst on a date? His shirt. His leather pants. Correct. <laughs> he just smacks himself in their head trying to get them off. <laughs> Yikes, that must be painful. It's hilarious. Chloe, where did the billionaire Pete Becker take Monica for their first date? Rome. Albuquerque. Correct, Chloe. <laughs> the score is 4-7 with the friends in front. So the next question will be for me. And it's about first dub now. How many years was the Enterprise NX-01 in service? A-10, B-15, C-12, D-17. Well, this one is interesting because the show only lasted four seasons. Because... But we know that the Enterprise continued to be in service long after that. So what are my options? A-10, B-15, C-12, D-17. They were pretty close together. Mm -hmm. I am going to go for 12 years. And the answer is A10. I, was, I would have guessed that because... I nearly went for 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Flox. What Star Trek series did Bajorans first appear in? A, The Next Generation. B, The Original Series. C, Deep Space Nine. D, Feature Films. What are you talking about now? Which series did the Bajorans first appear? Who are the Bajorans? Are they those people? They have the funny nose and they have an earring. Are, are those those people that Kira, Kira is? What's her name? Yes, Kira is a Bajoran. I feel like the first time they'd appear would probably be DS9 just because that's a very, very important thing in that show. The options are A, The Next Generation, B, the original series, C, Deep Space Nine, D, feature films. I'd go for DS9, C. The answer is A, the next generation. It was a, re and a reasonable thought process mm. you followed, but yeah, they were first introduced in TNG. Ow! If it was Cardassians, I would have known. Here is one for Mum. What did Ross call his Halloween costume that combined a potato... And a famous satellite. Sputnik. The dish. Correct. <laughs> um, Daddy, did you know that this book has questions from the Kelvinverse movies? I did know that, yes. You know from... Chloe, what does Ross dress up as when he can't mm. find a Santa suit? Oh, no, what was it? Santa's oh, else. Oh. oh, I know, like, what it looks like. He I don't know what up it was. It was like, it was like so random. I don't know what it was, but I don't know what it's called. It was an animal. Yeah. It was the hom the holiday armadillo. <laughs> What's an armadillo? <laughs> like this um hard. Like an American anteatery kind of thing. Because <laughs> yeah, it's all like a fun. <laughs> <laughs> The score is 5-8, with friends in front. Which Deep Space Nine cast member guest starred as a young Kazon warrior? A. Kirik Lofton. B. Aaron Eisenberg. Bobby Goldberg. C. Alexander Sitting. D. Nana Vistor. And that would be B, the late and wonderful Aaron Eisenberg. Who's that? I thought I'd better give him some, something he could answer. Yes. The score is 6-8. Harry, what will the question be? HDMI, micro SD card. <laughs> <laughs> How many Constitution class ships were in service during the original series? A5, B8, 
Satan, day 12. Uh, a million. What is this about? How many Constitution class ships were there during the original series? Um, A5, B8, C10, D12. One O. Ten, maybe. I'm going with that. It was twelve. I almost went with that. <laughs> it's alright, I would have said five, because I knew there weren't many. Mm. <laughs> well, the original series was the very first Star Trek show, and they were still figuring themselves out, because it was the very first Star Trek show, which had a weird episode. Alright, so we're... Six A's? Yep. Six A's, okay. Mum, which character ends up naked... In a restaurant bathroom. Uh, family friendly. Chandler. Correct. Get stood up by Julia Mar Julia Roberts. Chloe, which character was married to a Canadian ice dancer called Duncan? Duncan. Phoebe. Correct. Phoebe. Who's Phoebe? Um, um we just we just went to a little bit of a ten. Yeah. So you just won the game. <laughs> Congratulations. What are you doing, old man? Well, that was a lot of good fun. I'm wondering if we do it again sometime. If we're going to play as teams, maybe either team member can buzz in on the question. Can we do questions that I we come up with on the spot now? Anyway, that was fun. Catch you later.